things are tight right now, um, but it would be nice to see an increase in funding. Fort St. John's Women's Resource Society is trying to cope during the region's economic slump. This year, they've seen a dramatic increase of use at their food bank and a higher demand for bus tickets. We do see the need increase. Uh, so you have people who are looking for individual tickets to go to the hospital, go to medical appointments, or even just getting across town. Besides their poverty outreach store, bus passes are a main reason why clients visit the center. Our bus passes largely go uh, to women who are working with children to help them get around and help them get, get up on their feet. Last year, the nonprofit asked the city for a grant of $9,180 to purchase adult and student monthly passes and single tickets, but was only awarded $7,475, which they say is just not enough to fill the need. We're only allowed to give out so many per month, and a lot of the times when you're at the 15th of the month, you've already given out your stuff for the, for the month, um, so it puts us in a hard spot for sure. In preparation for 2017, the organization is asking asking for the same amount they requested last year in hopes of buying more tickets to cover the demand. What we asked for last year, uh, we've asked for exactly the same thing this year. It's 10 adult bus passes, 10 student bus passes and 10 box of single tickets. The group also asked if the city could spare recreational passes to keep people active and healthy during the economic downturn. If there were any pool passes that they could pass on to us as well, we've not put a number to it. We're just putting it out there and saying, if you could help us out, it really helps people's mental and physical uh, strength and energy to keep them fit and ready to get back to work. City Council will decide on the grant request early next year. Carissa Wilson, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.